What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. We're back in the garage with the M4 GTS and today we are finally getting CarPlay in this BMW. So this process was very similar to what I had to do with my 2016 340. It was running the previous iDrive software on it. So when Define Coding was coding in my new Icon headlights, I also had them code in Apple CarPlay and the updated iDrive screen. This is just like the easiest way to go about getting Apple CarPlay into your car. Define Coding actually just taps in to the car wirelessly via PC computer. They use TeamViewer to take control of the actual computer, download the software they need onto that computer, and then go ahead and code into your car, whatever you're looking to actually have coded at that time. In total, to get the Apple CarPlay and the headlights coded into the car, it probably took 15, 20 minutes tops. So for them, this is a very easy process, which is why I just like to have them do it. It's so much simpler to just go about it that way. But with this package from them, you also need the antenna. This is what allows your phone to communicate with the iDrive. So currently the car is in fact coded for CarPlay, but I can't use it until I install this antenna. And we're gonna do that right now. All right guys, so we are in the GTS right now. And what we're gonna do is actually take off this top trim piece. And then we need to pull out this piece right here. There's a couple of torque screws behind here holding this entire accessory trim panel in. Also behind this top trim piece, you're gonna have a couple of plugs, one for your locks and then one for your caution lights. Just make sure you unplug those before trying to remove the whole thing. You can use a trim tool to get this out or sometimes you can just do it with your hands. I like to start with this side and then come over and work on the thinner side last. We're also gonna remove this lower plastic panel down here. In order to do that, just take your trim tool and this should just pop down like that. Set this aside. So the four Torx bolts that are holding this accessory trim piece in are T20s. Go ahead and remove those. All right, once you get those out, this should all slide right out. You're gonna have uh, one plug right back here, set this aside, and then you're going to have two more T20s on the side here. I'm going to go ahead and pull this piece out. So on the back of this unit, you're going to see a little pink connector right down there that's empty, and that is going to be where we plug in our new antenna piece. So you literally just plug this in, take all the wiring and tuck it in back there. And this is going to allow our phone to interact with the iDrive system and in turn give us Apple CarPlay. So this is the final missing piece in order to make Apple CarPlay work on this car. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. Might be a little bit tough to film because I don't have a ton of room. But um, yeah, so plug this in, put it all back together. It's a little bit tough to see, but we got it plugged in back there and it should be good now. So we can go ahead and put everything back together. That was simple enough. Got everything back together. Now let's go ahead and put the car into accessory mode. And then what we'll do is we'll go down to, go to iDrive settings, mobile devices, and then phone. So you'll see apps is not connected. And then what you wanna do on your phone is go into under general. We'll see CarPlay and then we're gonna wait for it to pop up here. But you can either connect it through the phone or you can do it directly on the car in the iDrive screen itself. All right, so I just deleted the device because I had Bluetooth on here before. That's how it was connected. I deleted it and then I went back to add new device and clicked on CarPlay. And then now we will click on this right here. All right, so it's giving me a pairing request. Let's pair it 
hit OK. Connecting to CarPlay. Hey, there we go. All right, so what I had to do is I've got it right in here in car, under CarPlay. But if you go under General, under CarPlay, if your phone has already been connected to the car, like via Bluetooth or whatever, you're gonna wanna go into the settings in the iDrive and actually delete the phone. And then I had to just reset my phone because I think it was still trying to connect to it via Bluetooth. And then I went into the iDrive screen and selected connect new phone or new device. It then prompted up the screen to connect the car to CarPlay. And then once I did that, it brought up everything else I needed. But we are good, man. Yes, sir. Full screen, baby. And there's all my music and everything. It's so much better. You don't realize <laughs> how much you depend on CarPlay until you drive for a couple of weeks without it. And you're like, dang, dude, I don't have any of my maps up here. Like I was using the navigation in the actual BMW like software and it's horrible. Not nearly as good as having your actual maps and CarPlay. And then of course, everything else, you got your phone set up so you can do direct phone, you can do messaging. And then of course, Spotify and obviously my maps, which is going to be a big deal if we're driving up to New Jersey for the key show. We're gonna to wanna to have that. So that is it, man. Super, super easy to do. When you actually sign up to get Apple CarPlay from the guys over at Define Coding, they're also gonna send you a link to like the specific instructions, basically everything that I just showed you today. Also, if you want to install the CarPlay yourself, you can go ahead and do that. They give you the actual file, like the .exe file to actually put in the CarPlay yourself. They're probably gonna first ask you for your VIN to see what software your car is on. But it's always been easier for me because I've had multiple things coded. Like with the 340, I had my brakes coded. I had the upgraded M Performance Big Brake Kit. So they went ahead and coded that as well as the CarPlay at the same time. And we sort of just went about it the same process with the M4 GTS. They were doing the Icon headlights. I said, why don't you just throw in CarPlay while we're at it? And then I'll go ahead and throw in the wireless antenna later and make the whole video on it. So yeah, it's like a super easy process. Those guys can code pretty much anything. So if you need something coded on your BMW, I'm gonna leave all their information down below. This entire process should take you, I don't know, 15 minutes. Like, it's really, really simple. Anyone can do this. Big shout out to the guys over at Define Coding for making this happen on my M4. Definitely glad to have those guys in the pocketbook, man. You never know when you're gonna need something coded into your car that is just a little bit more advanced than like Beamer coding and stuff like that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Love y'all. See you in the next one.